Look at this beauty. Look. Huh? So, like this, and we're only doing this because the fish just starts in the morning and you have to get it done quickly. All right, so this will only take us a few minutes. So this, like feel this. Feel it. Yeah, feel it. Look, rub your hand on it. Look. Yeah. And smell your hand. But it's a beautiful smell, you know, it's, it's a nice, sweet. So here, for instance, like, the reason I said it's going, not going to take long, because here you can feel it's soft. Yeah. So it's the, we have all the row here. Right. right. So I'll show you what we do with the row. So very quickly, we do this so we get out of the way. Oh, sorry. Get a tray. So we won't be doing fish all day, you know, all day. So the jaw, it's a beautiful part of the fish. I mean, this is really nice if you, if you cut it up and uh, you use this... Uh, Hole, all right? And then again, like do you remember, like the last fish, so all around, and you know where your hand is at 45 degrees, okay? Now, the thing is with this, again, the same thing is that the bone is right down the center. I know where it is, but I make an incision and I run my thing down, and I know that I'm right on the bone, yeah? And the bone, see here, there? Go right into it. See? Just rub your finger, rub, rub your finger, but gently down there. All right? Okay. So, and I always, when you're doing it, I have usually more than one knife. And you can hear, listen, listen to sound. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> like with a fish like this, look at it, it's like it's a prime. This would be regarded as a prime fish. <coughs> so here it would go for uh, 18 euros a kilo on the bone. Then there's 6% bone in it. But you see now what I'm talking about, the robe. See how I knew that? Because of the feeling, all right? So, so 18 euros a kilo. But it, yeah, but uh, this co West Coast. So usually flatfish is from uh, Galway, uh, Galway up to Donegal. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, turbot. Oh, did I say turbot, yeah? Yeah. Uh, this will be about four or five years old. And see when you're taking the roe? Now, you remember you, somebody asked earlier on about eating the roe? But this would be brilliant to eat. No? Now, the thing is, this would be the last one we'll use this season because it's, uh, because it's going to spawn, yeah? So with this here. But see how much? Then I'm paying 18 euros a row for this one. So then the other, turn it around so quickly. But if you got this, for instance, if you were out fishing and you got this yourself, I mean, what you could do is uh, you could cook it on the bone. So, I mean, uh, usually it's caught. Uh, you could catch it with normal fish. Usually, how they can catch it if you're the spear. You know, go diving and catch them, but they don't do that here because it's, it's illegal as far as I know, yeah? The average size is about two kilos, you know? And then they farm them. You know, if you taste this, it's really beautiful. You know? They all stand backwards. They all, huh? they all stand back when they go taste if you say taste it, yeah? Yeah, but then when you uh, you, you put lemon juice and a uh, little oil on it, a bit of seasoning. Beautiful, yeah. But it's not that nice, you know? Taste what it should taste like. Oh. Sorry, I got sacked already, yeah? She's got a bone. It's going to die. That's because it came from the center, yeah? Right, so the jaw, and the jaw is really nice because it's really tender. Like if you think of beef cheek, you know? So it's the cheek, a turbo cheek. But I suppose everything has a cheek and everything has a heart, you know what I mean? Except an octopus, maybe, I don't know. The same this. Right. See, right on the bone there. And see the way I'm doing the clean sweep all the time? Yeah. And because I'm working so so close to the bone, I'm going to maybe have a little bone in it, so I take it off, yeah? And if you leave a little bit, it's possible you leave a little bit on it, you just take it off, yeah? We make it, well, afterwards we'll be making raviolis. 
And so we'll be making turbot cheek ravioli, yeah? Now again, this one, because remember the row in the last one, so I have to be careful. So I know when to stop about here, because I don't want to damage the row. Like beautiful. And then here, so I'll use this knife for this. Oh, because we use the row, and I'll show you in a second. We do two things with it. We're going to take it, uh, take it out, and marinate it, mm -hmm. and then use it like eggs. You know, because if you think of the golden color, look, the color of the eggs. Yeah. So the eggs are actually in there. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh. yeah. Sec. Yeah. But look at the color. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. All right. I just put this away, and then. Yeah, but it's fresh. You know what I mean. So it's not. So then the bone is. And then we take take out the eye. Sorry, ladies, uh, sorry. They don't like the eye piece, yeah? So the eye, and the reason to take out the eye is because we're going to make stock with it. Because this is a flat fish, so it swims on the ground, so both its eyes are here. So, so we keep an eye on you there, yeah? So yeah, Bernie, keep an eye on you, yeah? That's the new ends, yeah? All right? And then we cut the bone over like this, and you usually wash it, until uh, all the blood comes from it. So you leave it running under water. Sorry, until it comes out clear. Yeah, okay. And then we clean down this. We're going to make stock. We're going to make fish stock from it. So we have a pot on behind us here for the start of the stock. And we make a fish stock and it'll take about 20 minutes. So while we're doing something else, just be making. Be making stock. 20 minutes here from start to finish, yeah. So here we're going to do the skin. Right, we take the skin off. Now the reason you can do two things, you can cook it with the skin on and cook it with the skin off. But what I want to do is that uh, I want to be able to eat the skin. So I love the skin of fish because it's very good. A lot of people don't like it because they think it's, it's, it's not good, but it's actually very good for you. It's the texture, if you don't take the scale. Yeah, but it, the texture, you're right there. So the texture, but see now what happens here? The texture of the fish, like if you look at the texture of this one and the texture of this one. I'll just do it quickly and show you this, yeah? Like if you think fish is probably the only natural thing left for hunting, like if, if you think this is expensive, I don't think so. Because the fishermen take their lives into their own hands, they go out, they fish first, they take, you know, they, some of them die, look at a few weeks ago what happened, you know? And they come back with a bit of fish that they get 18 euros a kilo for, for, for risking their own life, yeah? Right here, I'll just put this here. Like, see this here now, we take this, that, anything that's left off it. So there's no waste. And then I'll just cut this one here. And again, even though the, bur the turbo is a flat, the bone is flat in the center, you might get little snippets bone like you said you got there. So here sometimes, because I'm working so close. Now look at the feel, the dif dif difference between this one and this one. Right. And I'll just show you here. So this is what we do with this, yeah? So this is the skin. So we dry the skin. So we finish this off in the oven and then you can eat it. And it's like, you know, the like stuff crisps. you... Like crisps. Yeah, it's just like crisps. Or, uh, you know, the Chinese things. Oh. Prawn cracker. So it's like prawn cracker. And they're really good for you, you know? So we leave that there and then I'll show you the eggs in a few minutes. So we're going to do the same with this. <coughs> so we cut it down. And then we cut this down. Proportion, yeah. Okay. Fish, instead of buying Chris for the movies, I'll buy, bring my skin. What a weirdo. No? No, I don't actually. We're going to do this quickly so you can see how it's done, yeah? So just dry it up here. No, not on this one because if you think about it, it's the stones on this, yeah? All right, so the back of it, the scales are so tiny, you don't need to take them off. Like scales are really good as well. Like if you fish scales like sea bass, you can scale it, keep the scales, wash them and deep fry them and they're superb. You just put them into water and deep fry them, amazing, yeah. So like little crisps, you know. Like in Kerry, for instance, you know, they didn't have crisps in Kerry. No, not wrong Kerry people, but what they did have is they had uh, seaweed. You know, they went around eating seaweed, okay? All right, let's move on. We have to move on quickly, all right? 
So I'm just going to show you here what we do just to finish it off. And then we just tidy up the turbot here and here. Now the thing is that if you think about the turbot, you know, it's going to cook differently. So this part is thinner than this. You know, like some guy on some TV program was saying that it takes like 10 minutes to cook the fish, it should be shot. You know, it doesn't take 10 minutes, it takes three or four minutes max to cook most fish. Like, and most people overcook the fish. And remember that if you cook in a fish, you undercook it, and then by the time it gets to the customer, it's just perfect, yeah. you know? Yeah. So here, so for portion-wise, like this part now is very different, you know? So now we're left with the prime piece. So we like two portions here. So you're working out then the price of the fish and the cost of it. All right? Any questions? No? Not at all. So do you want to go with this? No, you must be joking. <laughs> you know? If I let it go with that, I'd be shot myself, you know? And see the way I'm just letting it run? and let the knife do the work at all times, okay? I'm just moving this here, like that. And then the row, what we do with the row is, uh, so you're left with a beautiful piece of fish now, look. And then here, so if you feel it, you know? But it's not that this is not wasted. Like what we use, we just take the membrane off here. And it's a lovely piece of fish. But because it's not the centerpiece, so sometimes people regard it as not really good enough. That's not necessarily the case. It's just a matter of knowing what to do with it or not. Yeah, yeah. Like it's, we can ravioli or a really nice just braising. Like look at a beautiful piece. Just sort it off quickly, for starter. Yeah. For a surprise menu, tasting menu, anything like that. Okay. So we get and you see there's no waste. Look. No. Okay. We better move on. So the next item. Any questions? Yeah. Do you want to taste some fish? The other thing you forgot to tell me was, I asked you to remind me, was to show you the roll, yeah? So with this roll, what we do is going to marinate it. Right, you always clean up. We have a rule in the kitchen. If you make a mess, you clean it, yeah? Mm -hmm. And if you wipe your hands with a cloth, you get rid of it, yeah? Because you know the ad on TV, the germs are going everywhere. Not the Germans, the germs, yeah? <laughs> All right? So, okay, so that's the fish. We prepare the fish and then it finishes off we we'll build in and uh, Kieran will finish it off over there. Okay? Thank you. Thanks, Kieran. Yeah. All right, so next. So the beauty about this board is that it's double action. Yeah, I did say the row, you never reminded me of the row. Uh, Killian, where's the fish row? Oh, yeah. So this is the fish row, this is the row now when it's finished. You know? So it's really hard. So we dried it out, marinated it. For uh, marinated in Madeira and a little bit of our martini, a little bit of uh, white wine, and then just dry it out, and then you just grate it. So put your finger in there, taste it. Put your finger. No, not won't cut it off. Put your finger in. So put it. Yeah. Taste it. Do you want to taste? It's really nice. Bernie. See, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. You wouldn't need a lot of it. You only need a small amount, so that's why you grate it because it's quite strong, yeah. Good taste it. <laughs> Super tense to taste it, yeah? But see the way it comes out really, really fine. Okay. Right. Right there. And then there. And that's the skin. And the quick way, I did say I'll show you a quick way to do the skin, so I'll show it now. Sorry. Uh, parchment paper. Sorry. So sometimes it's running around because I have to run out and get stuff. So here, ladies, yeah? So you just put your parchment paper like that and then you get your skin. And a tiny bit of oil again on the paper. Skin. And then put the weight on top of it and then we dry it out. So remind me to take it out, right? You know, it'll take about two hours. So you just do it like this, skin. And then put the paper on top, and then we put this on top of it, and then we put a weight like a copper pot. Copper pot like this, yeah? I don't need the plastic boards here, guys, please. Yeah, put them away. Yeah? Thanks. Don't have it on the range. And we put it in this. It's 110 degrees, this oven. We have nine ovens, and they're all set at different temperatures, 